Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Um, I've come out today to test um, a new piece of equipment I've bought to try and help improve the quality of my videos that I'm doing on YouTube. And there's not a lot of wind today, but I am probably about 20 meters from quite a busy A road here in Dorset. And um, with hopefully a nice kind of um, scene behind me of, of one of my favorite churches in the area so what i've got now on the youtube so i feel like i'm having to raise my voice a little bit because the road is quite noisy is i've got my current kind of audio system which is like a, a, I'll, I'll put up some b-roll of what this looks like um while i'm talking but it's basically i think what they call like a boom mic um so it should be this direction picking up my sound and I find that's really great for kind of really close talking heads to the camera. Um, but as soon as I kind of want to want to move away and turn my back or turn to my side to do something else, I find that the sound really does start to suffer. And I'll just move away now to just try and highlight that point. So I moved away now. I'm still talking about the same kind of level. Uh, what's my audio like now? And then if I turn around here and carry on talking, uh, moving my head away, how how good is that? And if I turn around to the other side, how good is that? With, with, what with the release of the new Rode Wireless Go 2, um, there's actually some really good deals um, for the older version, and um, especially if you're like me, you're happy with kind of used or refurbished uh, versions, uh, they're even um, cheaper again. So I've managed to buy a set, and I thought I'd give it a go today to see um, what it's like and also as well to kind of test its limitations because I know um, again when you turn around and block the kind of the line of sight um, it's not supposed to work that well so I thought I'd give it a whirl and um, see how we get on it's quite um, a compact little set actually this little pouch contains the kind of the, the transmitter the receiver uh, the cable and the kind of the wind muff so I'll just swap it over now and uh, we'll we'll see what what it sounds like so i'm now talking with this Rode wireless go here so um this is the first time i've used it outdoors having only got it kind of yesterday so it'll be interesting to see how well this does compared to the previous mic that i was using so i think we're moving forward and it's a little bit funny because the kind of the holder I've got for the Osmo Pocket, and again, I'll put up a, a picture of this of what it looks like. Um, it's got two kind of cold shoes on the side, um, but the tripod and the kind of the GoPro mount um, is kind of causing a bit of an interference with the kind of the, the receiver unit of the road. So I'm gonna have to kind of work um, a solution out for that long term. At the moment, it's just kind of hanging um, down from the Osmo Pocket, so I'm not quite sure um, how suitable that is in the future. So, anyway, right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to clip this now into my clothes, like I see other people doing. I'm not convinced of um, I'm attaching the wind muff uh, correctly at the moment, and I know that seems to be a bit of an issue online when I was doing some research for some people, so I might have to see whether there's a better way of attaching it but that seems okay at the moment so i put that underneath my uh, my jacket so hopefully this is still coming through loud and clear what i'll do now like i did with the other one i'll move back and um, see how well it picks it up but i'm just thinking realistically i'm going to be kind of um shooting kind of compositions kind of this way like does that pick it up okay when i'm kind of talking to the camera and then looking away to take a scene can you kind of still see me and hear me kind of clearly enough and also if i turn this way can you still kind of hear me all right and this is probably quite a good uh, this is probably as far as i'm probably going to be away from the the osmo pocket when i'm doing my videos so it'll be really interested to see um, how this sounds and then I'll just carry on talking now and turn my back but I'm not confident that it's going to carry on picking up the audio because I have heard that you've got to have line of sight so we'll just try that now so this is Holness Church in Dorset 
I think it's a very kind of fine specimen of an English kind of church. And um, it's going to be part of a follow on video to this video um, in a few minutes time. So could you hear me at all uh, when I was talking about that? Um, so that's the kind of the broken line of sight test. Um, I was just going to go for a walk down the path now and um, I'll do some sound checks and see, see whether it picks it up. See how well the Osmo tracks me as well. Probably not that well. It's one of those paths as well, I feel, that um, it will be very slippery when it's kind of frozen. Or when it, the temperatures drop below freezing. So now it's probably going to pick me up okay here because it can probably see me again uh, line of sight. So um, that'll be interesting. Right now, heading back away from the church. Or well, heading towards the church, but because um, you're probably not going to be able to hear me at all. Yeah, so I'm walking back now. This is probably, again, I, I can't see myself um, ever wanting to talk this far away from my Osmo Pocket. So, yeah, I'm really interested to see what, what it sounds like, how clear it is still. And also as well, because it, there is an A road uh, just behind the Osmo. So I'll be really interested to see um, the quality of the audio that that is kind of picking up and um, recording. Again, I wonder how um, this is going to sound because um, I'm kind of side on to the Osmo. I did have a go at doing the kind of the DB settings as well, and I've kind of set it on its medium setting for now. And then on the Osmo Pocket as well, I've also reduced it down to its kind of its middle uh, DB level, just, just as a kind of a, a baseline. And then I can tweak that if I need to um, at a later date. And, and there's something I still need to do. I still need to kind of master kind of the equalizers on kind of my video editor to try and get the best out of the audio in kind of post. But at the moment, I'm just kind of interested to see how this compares to my kind of my previous audio setup and whether it's going to give me the flexibility and freedom to kind of go as wireless in effect in order to kind of help explain to my viewers what I'm kind of doing in the field. Because more often than not, if I kind of step behind the Osmo Pocket in the past, because the boom mic is only facing kind of forward um, to the Osmo, it would have kind of lost my voice um, at this stage, or it would have looked, it would have sounded really quite um, bad. So now I'm hoping that it's going to pick me up still and sound okay. And I'm, again, the, the road is quite busy now, so I'm kind of really, again, hoping that this kind of does allow uh, that background noise to be kind of reduced you know it should hopefully just be focusing on my voice so anyway that's just a quick kind of run through a real world test of using my Osmo Pocket the original Osmo Pocket and the original Rode Wireless Go um, along with the kind of the Osmo DJI's three and a half millimeter kind of uh, microphone adapter so thanks for watching Bye for now.